greetings and thank you for joining me. Today we'll be talking about one of the uh, applications that are very common these days, and that is Zoom. And Zoom is good for education, for online meeting, especially for small and medium businesses, as well as for communication between individuals. It has many applications and can be a very useful tool for everyone. So let's get to it on how to download it, install it, as well as what are the main features of using Zoom. Okay, so our tutorial today will be on Zoom. Zoom is one of the applications that are that have been used actually have been very popular in the past few weeks because of the homestay situation around the world. And so this has been the means of communication, the means of e-learning. So it will be very nice to be able to use it and actually compare to other uh, software out there or other platforms out there uh, like uh, Google Meet, which I discussed in another video. You probably can see it here. And also uh, Microsoft Teams. Zoom is probably is very good application for the small and medium uh, businesses simply because it has 40 minutes free for the basic account and it is actually free for one-on-one -on -one meeting. So if you have only two in the meeting, it's fine. You can use it as much as you want. But if it is more than that, then you will just be allowed 40 minutes and then you have to restart the meeting again. So uh, we'll search for Zoom. Zoom, you could go on their website. You could download Zoom to your laptop. You could also have it on your phone as well. And the good thing about it compared to, for example, Google Meet, where you can only share the full screen and share only a window. Here you can share a whiteboard. You can share a whole variety of things in Zoom. So I highly recommend that there have been talks about the security issues with Zoom but that's mostly related to the cloud uh, servers and it's not directly the application. And that has been solved. So there are a lot of people now using it. It's a very versatile program for communication. And as I mentioned, you don't have to buy Google Suite or Microsoft um, Office in order for you to use it. So here we go. This is where it is. So this is basically the, the web page of Zoom. As you can see, the logo here is very clear. And then you can see where you can download it. You could go here. The whole variety of, of plugs in, plugins. So if I go like for the meeting client, which we are interested in, here is the one we are looking for. But remember, there are also other plugins for a variety of uses. There's plugin for Outlook, plugin for IBM Notes. There's a whole plugin for extensions, for Skype, for a few things. There's also applications, as I mentioned, for Zoom in your um, iPhone as well as for Android devices. If you are interested in downloading the one that is here in uh, Microsoft Windows. Once it is downloaded, you could install it. Now it is downloaded. It's not really a huge file, uh, so it is very, very simple application uh, and it has plenty of users. I have downloaded it actually and I already installed it. It's a very basic regular installation process. It doesn't take too much time. So you are able to do this. Now let's open Zoom since it's here already here. This is where it is. You can probably um, install it once you have it. The same basic installation. All you need to do is actually for for uh, Zoom to work is um, an email registration email. Once you have it open, you basically log in with your um, your account. So once, once you install uh, Zoom, this is the first screen that you get to see. Probably a different background here, but it's more or less the same thing. Here you see the new meeting when you can start a new meeting here. Okay. Or you can, you know, join a meeting here. You need the, um, the ID of the meeting or the link sent to you by email or by text or directly here in Zoom. You could also schedule a meeting. You can schedule that and send it to participants either um, directly or indirectly by setting up a calendar, Google Calendar or Outlook. It supports plenty of, of options here for scheduling a meeting. You could also share the screen as well, of course, and share many other applications, just like you do with other uh, video conferencing. Or to set up a new meeting, this is what you do. You click here, and then it opens the, um, the uh, new meeting window. It starts to connect. Here it is connecting right now. And what you see is, is a virtual background, and that's very interesting for privacy in Zoom compared to, uh, for example, Google Meet 
or Microsoft Teams. This is the screen is ask me to join with computer audio. Obviously, I would agree. If not, you know, you can use a variety of audios from here. I'm using headset. Okay, you can also have plenty of control here, especially if you have students and so on. This is the camera. You can stop it anytime. It will show the the avatar or your picture there instead. Okay, and you can also mute the mic as always. So unmute the mouth here. In the video, you could change the background. You download background and you can change the background to anything you like or have no background up to you. So if you are interested, this is a very nice way to like uh, have some privacy while working. Good thing about Zoom also, you can record in MB4 all your meetings and you can make actually separate audio for each participant as well. So it's very interesting. Um, to have this. There are plenty of options for the video and the audio, as well as here on the screen. So the options and settings are all here. You check your mic, you check everything is working. This is where you do it in the settings. So once that is done, then you could probably do uh, the next best thing. Um, there's also a chat, I forgot to say that there's a chat, this chat for everyone or for whoever is participating in the meeting. So you could send it to just one colleague or to send here uh, hello to all. This will be seen by everyone, but you can send it to a particular uh, participant. If you are going to directly uh, share a screen, either have a full screen shared, that means everything. Now I'm sharing the full screen. That means I'm sharing the whole Windows you know, application. All of this is being shared. So. I can also change the sharing options to to the whiteboard. And this is very interesting for those who are discussing things like um, for business or for that kind of work. And you can see here on the side where it leaves the, you know, all the participants uh, window there or cams there. If they are turned on, you can turn it off too. And here you can have uh, text, any kind of text, a variety of text. Okay, you can have um, all kinds of um, pictures and drawings for your planning and so on. Uh, you can have stamps, a variety of stamps here. Okay, you could have um, highlighting points to the participants. For example, this one you can see it here. Okay, or you can highlight a certain area in your work. So it's very simple. You can erase all your markings. Okay, or a particular one, for example, this one. You could, of course, change all the color of all of this. If you are changing to red, for example, you can go here and draw in red. Highlight in red, for example. You can do and do, do. You can clear everything. And the neat thing is, you could actually save all these drawings. You could save it in um, an image file. So you could also add here, you can see here, you could add a new page. So you can save all these pages as you go with the meeting and you can do this on your own. You can also record the screen on your own without having to have a meeting. And um, I have another talk on that as well. So please check on how to record. So you can do screen recording with Zoom. We don't need a separate screen recorder for this. So this is sharing the whiteboard. Okay, so that's that's it. And then you go another share. You could also share your iPhone if your iPhone is connected. It needs to be on your network. And uh, so you need to install the plugin for the iPhone. Once that is installed on your um, computer, and this shouldn't take time, then you can easily um, log in to the same network. You have to have your Wi Fi um, on the same network. So to just make sure that you, your Zoom and your computer are on the same network. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So that's basically it. That's all you do. So um, once this is downloaded, you can share the, um, the iPhone or iPad window with your colleagues in the meeting. That's what's interesting about it. So 
once you have that installed, that's it. Then you can do screen monitoring. And you need to be on the same uh, Wi-Fi, both the iPhone and your computer where you work. And then you do screen monitoring. After that, all will be fine. So you do just screen monitoring, and you click on same thing, just like here. There you go. You click on that on your iPhone. Now already share sharing that on the screen just by as you would do scroll down with your iPhone or iPad and then select my, your internal network. And that's it. And then you can actually you can see here everything is being shared on your phone. So this is basically my phone and I can share with colleagues, for example. Uh, my calendar or whatever I wanted to share that is not available on your desktop, but it is available on your iPhone. So basically, that's what it is this sharing for. Once you are done, you stop zoom mirroring, and then you are back to uh, your new share. So here, I could also share another window. This is a window I can share. So this can be your, you could share YouTube, you could share the whole screen. And so that's basically another way to share things with um, your colleagues. Uh, finally, one of the few things that could, you could probably share and you will be interested in are these options. You can share part of the screen, you can share only the mic, you can share another camera. You could also share other drives other folders and drives with your colleagues who are in the meeting. So that is also possible with Zoom. Um, and finally, once you are done, you end the meeting. And that's it. One last thing before I just end this meeting. You could go here and record on this computer everything you do. You can see here it's recording now. And once you are done recording, you just stop it. Okay, and then once you end the meeting, like here, you end the meeting. So in the meeting for all, now it will convert. You can see now it's converted the meeting to an MB4 file. See, see this is already converted. And you can also have an audio of the same thing. That's why you have in the settings an option to have the audio of each participant on their own. Or you could have the whole audio all together like I did just now. So that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video. And if you enjoy it, please do click um, and share this video with your friends and colleagues. And also subscribe to the channel so you get to be informed when there is more. If you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section below. If you dislike the video, also click on this link. Thank you. And see you next time.